with us. Amen. And we're all we are glad. When you look on the front of the program, that smile says it all. Amen. Amen. He was that type of guy. Somebody yeah. said he was just that type of guy. Yeah. Amen. And so I said, well, what can um, I say? Amen. What, what, what can I say, Lord? Amen. To those who are hurting Amen. What can I say to those who may have other emotions? Amen. We are human. And when things happen, we get emotional. Am I in here? Amen. But the way you deal with emotion is going to determine the outcome of the situation. So this thought came to my mind. And it's taken from 2 Corinthians fourth chapter verses eight and nine. If you pray along with me, I'm going to touch on a few points and I'm going to bid you farewell. The Bible reads that we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Just for a few minutes, I want to use for a thought, God is standing by. Go ahead and look at the person beside you, say neighbor, in the midst of it all. God, you're standing by. Standing by. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise. Uh, this world is in trouble. You turn on the TV, you hear about trouble. You, you read the newspaper, that goes some more trouble. Social media, Facebook, and Twitter. You see posts and yeah. tweets yeah. about trouble. Y'all yeah. gonna pray with me? Ah, uh, so much trouble in the world that one songwriter penned a song that said, everywhere you go. There is trouble. Uh, everywhere you go, there is strife. Everywhere you go, there is something that worry you. But he didn't stop right there. He said, but remember God is standing by. Yeah, trouble does not discriminate. Can we say amen? Amen. Uh, there is trouble in the White House. Yes. This past week we have seen uh, horrific images of uh, babies being separated from the parents. Uh, the White House seemingly is just going crazy. There's trouble in the White House, but it doesn't stop there. There's trouble in the Black House. We hear about Black on black crime. Can we say amen? amen. Rich people are in trouble. Yeah. Poor people are in trouble. Yeah. Pretty folks are in trouble. Yeah. Ugly yeah. folks uh, are in trouble. Everywhere you go, there is trouble. Can we say amen? amen? There are some that would have you to believe that trouble never knocks at their door. Y'all know somebody like that. But I stop by to tell you that if you live long enough, one day, trouble is going to knock at your door. Oh, I feel my help coming. Oh, uh, yeah, 
just keep on living. One day, all hell is going to break loose. Can we say amen? Your children going to be in trouble. Your house going to be in trouble. Your job going to be in trouble. But in the midst of the trouble, you got to know you got an antidote for your trouble. He don't discriminate. I want to say to this family that God is not picking on you. I want you to take a minute and think about this one point. Just like we are in this setting, there's another family somewhere that's in this same setting. Time is winding up. God is calling his folks home. It behooves us to be ready. God is not picking on this family. Even Job. Yes, sir. Job was a perfect and upright man. Yeah. One day trouble knocked on his door. Yes, the tornado came and blew up his house. Yeah. Some happened, killed his oxen. Yeah. Another thing happened killed his children. One thing out of another. But one thing about Job, amen, he knew who was in control. That's why I asked Sister Minister Borum to sing that song because whether you believe it or not, even right now, family, God is still in control. And our time is in his hand. Can we say amen? Amen. The Apostle Paul was one that also was acquainted with trouble. As I heard it, my text, he said that uh, we are troubled on every side, but yet not distressed. When you know whose you are, when you know who you are, amen, the pain hurts. Amen. But you got to say to yourself, amen, regardless of what I'm going through, I'm going to hang on in here. Can we say amen? He went on to say that we are perplexed. Those of you who don't know what perplexed means, that means that we are confused. Sometimes we ask ourselves, even right now, why do I have to cry sometimes? Why do my poor heart have to bleed sometimes? But I heard the songwriter said there's going to be a perfect day. When trouble get out of my way. The commercial says sometimes I feel like a nut. And sometimes I don't. But when you don't know what to do. When it feels like you're going to lose your mind. In your secret closet, you need to call Jesus. Somebody said, Jesus. Not in despair. I'm persecuted. Amen. I'm picked on. I'm lied on. Folks messing with me. But that's all right. I heard the Lord said, Vengeance is mine. Say it, the Lord. You can't do nothing with it. But I declare you better put it. We are in trouble. And you said, preacher, I know that. What am I going to do about the trouble? I'm coming to my clothes now. We would be in pretty bad shape if there was no answer for our trouble. I heard Mr. Jackson, Michael Jackson said, this is it. But let me tell you something, if this is all that we had to look forward to, we would be in pretty bad shape. But I'm so glad that trouble don't last always. Can we say amen? I don't understand why this had to happen, but I know God knows what's best. And even in the midst of this, I'm still going to serve God. Anybody in here that got their mind made up, that regardless of the situation, I'm still going to serve God. 
Let me see you wave your hand. Make it hard sometimes. And I know you feel like throwing in the towel. But I heard the songwriter say, I almost, I almost left go. Felt like I couldn't take life anymore. Anybody in here that felt like giving up? Anybody in here felt like doing something bad? But you better take a step back and lift up your heads and see Jesus. Somebody said, Jesus. When you in trouble, standing by our side. And he said, Lord, Lord, I'm with you. Brother Melton, even until the end of the world. Pastor the glass, but this too will pass. I said, it's going to pass over. And it's going to be all right. Hold on, Brother Randy. It's going to be all right. Can we say amen? amen? Do we love the Lord on tonight, today? I said, do we love the Lord on today? God is standing by our side. Even though we don't understand. Matter of fact, don't try to understand. But just put it in God's hand. Sister Yolanda, it's going to be all right. I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. Tell the Lord thank you. Give the Lord a hand of praise. 